the peculiar song of the Weddell seal in the steely blue waters of Antarctica. They are the only mammals to live year-round in the world's coldest continent. And before a young Weddell seal is comfortable on the ice bank and in the frozen waters beneath it, he must undergo a tough initiation. On the edge of the Antarctic continent, the thick crust of ice that covers the sea is constantly swept by the wind. We are at Terra Deli, one of the specific breeding grounds of the Weddell seal. It's October, the beginning of Austral springtime. Having spent several months in the water, the females head for the ice bank to give birth. Year after year, they come back to the same spot, practically on the very same day. If the hole in the ice sheet is not large enough, they dig into it with their teeth to make a breathing hole. Within a few days, hundreds of females will take over the area, keeping a distance from each other. Having hoisted their 400 kilos out of the water, they remain there without moving, waiting for the first contractions. It's 38 degrees centigrade in the mother's womb, minus 20 degrees on this bed of ice. Yet the shock caused by the difference in temperature is only the first test the baby seal will have to face. Before anything else, the mother and her pup must learn to recognize each other by their smell. Then the baby explores his mother's fur in search of tits. From now on, he will spend most of his time suckling, just to store layers of fat to fight the cold. The mother's milk is very high in protein, and it will make him put on two kilos per day during the first six weeks. Nursing is essential, but it is not the only type of exchange between the female and her pup. There is also time for games, hugs, and conversation. Although the sense of smell is the basic tool used in recognizing one another, seals also communicate through an elaborate system of sounds.
What do seal pups do when they're not suckling? They sleep for hours against their mothers who protect them from the winds. These mother-child couples are the only forms of life on the barren land of ice. But they are not as isolated as they seem. The females are grouped together to form a harem, and a male usually reigns over two or three of them. A week after birth, the pup has a sufficient layer of fat to go into the water. His mother starts to dig a hole with her teeth. Weddell seals have developed a special type of canine teeth, which enable them to break away the ice. is ready. The mother merely has to show her baby what she expects him to do. Here and there on the ice bank, it's the same scene. A mother seal trying to be as convincing as possible to a pup who has hardly gotten used to frozen ground and doesn't seem too anxious to brave yet another ordeal. first dive is the hardest. After that, you just have to follow your mom. She has great experience in this liquid world. But the most important thing is not to lose sight of her. There are so many dangers. At any moment, one can get lost in these icy corridors or suddenly come across aggressive adults. The first dive is usually short. It is merely to get used to the water. But the adult Weddell seal can dive to 600 meters and stay underwater for more than an hour. Enough to make any divers of our species jealous. Our record time does not exceed eight minutes in still apnea. The fact is that Weddell seals have an unusual capacity for adaptation. On a deep dive, the blood circulation slows down in all their organs, except for the heart, brain, and eyes. The muscles can function with optimum efficiency at such depths because of the incredible quantity of hemoglobin which brings them the oxygen they need. This particular trait enables them to spend most of their time underwater, where it is less cold than in the Arctic air. They catch their breath in the breathing holes, which they maintain with great care. November. The spring season is definitely here. Adelie penguins arrive after the seals. They're heading towards their nesting sites.
The young seals are not at all frightened by these funny-looking invaders, just slightly annoyed by their chattering. The penguins, in fact, are merely passing by. Unlike seals, who are satisfied with a bed of ice, they require a rocky ledge to nest. They will soon have occupied all the small islands emerging from the ice bank. Adelie penguins lay two eggs. The male and the female take turns every six or seven days to hatch, and this takes 35 days. Out at sea, the unmistakable sign of spring, the breakup of the ice, giving way to more and more water surface. The thawing of the ice is an important stage in the life of the young seals. In four weeks' time, there will be no more ice bank refuge. Therefore, they must suck away eagerly in order to reach the size necessary to survive in the frozen water. The pup weighed 20 kilos at birth. He will weigh 100 when he is weaned. While the pup is fattening up, the mother is getting thinner and thinner. For six or seven weeks, she lives off the fat that she had stored up before giving birth, as she must avoid all unnecessary movement. Her system is entirely taken up with nursing. During this season, seal pups start losing their underfur. The layer of fat that they have put on is now sufficient protection against the cold, they now grow adult fur adapted to underwater life. A few years ago, the Weddell seals of Antarctica saw the arrival of an unknown species at their breeding grounds, men who had come to set up research bases. Weddell seals have not been extensively hunted. Therefore, they do not fear man and seem to lend themselves quite willingly to his scientific interest. Seals generally accept these visits with good humor, although there is the occasional bad-tempered character. Researchers take advantage of the Weddell's friendly disposition to study every aspect of their behavior and especially their language. 
they have made an amazing discovery by listening beneath the ice. The strange trills they heard are in fact the seal's dialect. The sounds carry for long distances underwater, even through corridors of ice. At this time of year, the sun does not set. But in the evening, when it is low on the horizon, it gets much colder. Thus the females take their baby into the water where it is less chilly. to respect the territorial boundaries imposed by the males. At this time of year, the latter live essentially underwater. Each one of them rules over a specific territory and fiercely defends the breathing holes that belong to it. This female was surprised by the thinness of the ice and broke the law unintentionally. She will regret it. This bite was a warning. The female must absolutely move away from the area, but her pup has yet to follow. The mother and her pup finally manage to hoist themselves on the edge of the hole, but alas, the ice breaks again. The male goes for her once more. This time, the female was lucky. She was expecting the attack and managed to avoid injury. These assaults are frequent with seals. They all have scars from them. Here is a cautious female, the opposite of the previous one. Before inviting her pup to dive, she inspects the surroundings very carefully. seal is quite privileged compared to other species. Other seals must learn to swim and feed alone because their mothers leave them very early, sometimes a few days after birth. The Weddell, however, has a long training period. 
the last lessons consists in diving 500 or 600 meters deep, where they can find the fish they feed on. One hardly sees any Adélie penguins marching along the ice bank. They are all nesting. The fluttering and the noise come mostly from colonies of petrels, still busy at their courtship displays. dive, the young Weddell seal has become familiar with his environment. He is able to find his way using the ice formations and the thin light. He has learned to identify the calls of other seals echoing in the distance. constant lessons and exercises, this pup has gained self-assurance. He no longer hesitates in leaving his mother to satisfy his curiosity. He has just discovered a camera. His mother will have a tough time getting him away from it. Six weeks have gone by. The young seals are ready to be weaned. The females have done their duty and have gone back to the deep waters where courtship has started again. What does one do when one is all alone? One looks for a friend of the same age to start out on this new life together. Being alone with mother has prevented the young seals from having encounters. Socially, they have a lot to learn. Somersaults and games will initiate them to the real attacks they will have to deliver in the adult world. Emancipated as they are, they still have practically everything to discover about the life that is awaiting them under the ice of Antarctica.